I switched from the iPhone 14 Pro Max to the iPhone 13 mini as a way to reduce my daily use of tech, and I'm not the only one that's making the switch. I wanted a phone where I would actually take advantage of the features it has versus having a phone that's just way more powerful than I needed. And now, like many of you watching, I've gone down this rabbit hole of the iPhone 13 mini, trying to find ways to make the most of this short king. These productivity hacks are meant to minimize your screen time and work more efficiently to give you what you want at a glance with less taps. And even though these are on the iPhone 13 mini, they can work on any iPhone. So use the chapters below and let's get started. Number one is a separate reminder stack in Today View. So you can see my typical home screen here, but the thing that's always neglected is your Today View. Most people actually forget it exists and others just aren't using it to its full potential. I think that this is the perfect place to put your reminders list. And by the way, I'll do a separate video on how to make the most of reminders for productivity. But basically, I like to have separate lists for my personal life, work life, and then a shared list with my family. In my Today View, I add separate reminder widgets, tapping and changing them to each list. And because I actually set dates for my reminders, I also add a Today List at the top, which automatically pulls in tasks from every other list that are due on that day. So this way I can sort of prioritize what needs to be done right now, while also getting a glance and seeing the bigger picture of what's coming. And a second part to using Today View is to put apps in Today View with Siri suggestions. As you start to use Today View more often based on point one, it's really helpful to get a reminder and then have easy access to apps that you would likely need right now through Siri suggestions. So number two, when planning your home screen layout, go to your battery life and see what you're using most often. This will cut down on searching for frequently used apps and put them into view with no need to search for them. Also part two to this point is to only have one single home screen so that you're always one swipe away from the today view and the app library on the other side. This is really impactful if your most frequent apps can fit onto one home screen, and then you can easily get to app library for anything else you might need. If you need multiple home screens, consider making a separate home screen for home, work, and then anything else, and then use focus filters in settings to automatically switch between them based on the time of day, location, or something like that. So you only ever have one screen active, but it's the one that you need at that time. Number three is to use text replacement for common long tail phrases. Go to settings, general, keyboard, and then text replacement. Here you can enter a phrase and then have an entire paragraph if you want to, then a shortcut for what triggers it. This is great for like templated email responses or typical links that you need to share. I like to put a hashtag before so I don't accidentally type it into daily use. So number four is using Siri shortcuts and it's a way to fast charge your phone. If you have a mini, battery life is always top of mind. Unlike the Pro Max, you're likely only getting one full day of battery life max, sometimes less than that. This shortcut allows you to charge your phone at a faster rate. And no, it's not some magic way to boost charging rates more than it usually can. Instead, it intelligently disables Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, lowers your screen brightness to zero, and turns on airplane mode and low power mode all at once. Meaning while you're charging, nothing's gonna contribute to battery usage, meaning it'll charge faster. I'll include a link in the description to add this shortcut. There's no setup required. Number five is for creators. We spend a lot of time creating content, but it also means we spend a lot of time consuming content. If you find yourself in that boat and you wanna reduce your screen time, swap your social media app with a shortcut instead that jumps directly to creating. So here, instead of jumping to the Twitter feed, I use a shortcut to create tweets, which jumps directly into Twitter and then creates a tweet instead of opening to the feed. This significantly reduces screen time and allows me to create content while reducing the time I spend within the app. So I use these five tips in my daily use with my iPhone 13 mini. If you like this video, let me know down in the comments and I'll do more of them. Also, if you have a productivity hack that I didn't mention, share it down below, help everybody out. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.